Hi, Mr. Wizard, I'm here. Okay, hi, Christina. Why did you tell me to put my hair back? Well, today you and I are going to do some experiments that involve fire. And whenever you deal with fire, you have to be extremely careful. So I just wanted your hair out of the way. Okay, and, and I my see, sleeves are. Yeah, and your sleeves well are all rolled up. And notice back there on the table, I have a fire extinguisher. You know how to use them. Yeah, you pull the thing. Pull out the pin, pin and squeeze, and right? Okay, and out comes fog. Yeah. Okay. Then I have water in the sink and everything else, so, so we're well protected because we are going to investigate the fire triangle, which is right there. See it? Why is it a triangle? Well, look, there are three important parts. You see what they are? Oh, oxygen, heat, and fuel. And you have to have all three to have a fire. Okay. And if you want to put out the fire, all you have to do is take, take one of them away. away. That's what you and I are going to do. We're going to okay. start little fires, and we're going to put them out by taking one of those three things away. But first, here's a piece of paper. Would you crumple it up and put it in that flask? Okay. Now I'd like you to light the paper in the... And then we're going to put the top on like that. So go ahead. Okay. I'll take the match. Okay. Let it burn a little bit. You stand by to put the top on. Okay. A little more. A little more. Okay, put the top on. What happened? The fire went out. Why? Yeah, yeah why? Well, remember I said you have to take away one of these things and the and fire would go out. What did we take away? We took away the oxygen. Right, because we smothered it. In other words, we prevented more oxygen from uh, getting into the fire. Now, you know how firemen do the same sort of thing? They take cloth or a blanket and put it around. A, a wrap, well, they put it on, anytime they want to smother it, they, they can use also the fire extinguisher, because that cuts the supply of oxygen as well. And then if you catch on fire, you put a coat yeah. or a towel or a blanket, anything <laughs> around you to shut off the supply of oxygen. Okay. okay, you can put the oxygen back up again. Now I would like you to light the candle. I noticed, by the way, that you light the candle by stroking the match away from yeah. you, which is good. You can put it right down here. Okay. Here's a little piece of wire made into a coil. You take it. Okay. What I'd like you to do is slowly and carefully lower it right down over the flame. The flame went out. Went out. Why? Um, Plenty of air can get air. through the, yeah. you know, because there's a lot of space there. Lots of fuel. What's the only thing that's left? Heat. Okay, take the heat away up there. You see, the copper absorbs heat very easily. Oh. So you took away the heat from the fire, like, and that's what put it out. Yeah. It's like when we take water in to put out fires. That's how well, firemen use water, right. Most people think they smother it, but yeah. they don't really. They put it out by taking away the, the heat. In fact, oh. uh, here. Would you take away the heat? That's what you do when you blow out the fire, too. You blow the heat away from the, from the, oh. uh, the fire. Okay, you can put the heat back up. Okay. What do we got left? Fuel. Fuel. This time we're going to have a forest fire. Behind the chart there is a house. And here comes the forest. Forest of matches. Yeah, yeah, you put it right down there at the, end, at the edge of the forest. Okay. And eventually you're going to light this tree right here, that match. And now what's going to happen? It's going to spread to the other matches and right. start. And it's going to down here like this. Yeah. And how do, what do we got, what do we have to do over here with the thing? Take away the fuel. Okay, how are we going to do that? Um. Well, have you ever heard of a fire break? Oh yeah, that's when there's a road or something to stop the fire from right. spreading. Or firemen sometimes actually uh, go in and chop down all the trees and have a bulldozer in order to make a fire oh. break to keep away the fuel. Yeah. So you see where that white, Tape, I put that white tape. Yeah. Take away those matches and make a fire break. Okay. By the way, I'm standing by here with my squirter okay. zone cape. So now you uh, light the first tree over there. There you go. Now you go. Okay. Oh, it's spreading to each match. Yes, yeah, going from one match to the other. 
And this is what happens with a real forest fire, too. The fire burns and it sort of explodes and kits the next tree on fire and the next tree on fire. And I'm standing by with a match, and in case it doesn't catch that tree on fire, ah, the wind <laughs> it blew did. it over and away it went. That happens in a real fire, too. The wind can come along and s blow the fire from one tree to the other. In fact, sometimes the forest fire gets so strong that it creates its own wind because all that hot air is going up and other air is coming through. Okay, it's coming down to here, and we'll see if Christina's fire break will protect the house. Do you think it will? I think it will. You think I would want to burn up the house? No. Really? No, I wouldn't. Okay. Almost. Is it going to do it? It is going to go. Reach over. <laughs> okay, how did we put the fire out? Took away the fuel. Take away the fuel. Let's yeah. also take away the heat by blowing. Are you ready? Okay. So there, there we took away the heat, but how did we put the fire out here? We took away the, the fuel. fuel. Okay, so put it back up there. Okay, how do you put out fires now? Take away the, the oxygen, heat, and fuel. Right, and now you know what happens when uh, you investigate fire with the fire triangle.